Babe, I can't find my keys. Have you seen them? I don't know. I'm in the middle of a match. Uh, have you checked by the bookshelf with the magic cards? Why would my keys be over here? And why is your stuff everywhere? All right. We need to get rid of these magic cards already. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for sitting through that cheesy intro. But uh, I just wanted to demonstrate why it's important to have your collection organized. Uh, a friend of mine thought it would be good to show you what my collection looks like. I think the BCW card houses are the gold standard for sorting a collection. Uh, they hold 12 of these 800 count boxes and I think they're a pretty decent size for most sets. Uh, for me, I just throw masking tape with the name of the set on there. And I know it, it doesn't look glamorous, but some people they throw, you know, a piece of the booster box on there or they'll print out the uh, set symbol. This works for me and uh, it allows for easy inventory, right? So for me, uh, let's, let's just pick a box here. So Throne of Eldraine. Right, uh, for me, I collect a lot of the commons and uncommons like you might have seen on my other videos. And uh, all I do is I sort by color, uh, rarity, and casting cost. And Throne's one of the larger sets because it's got some of those you know, showcase cards. So I think I have like eight Merchant of the Veils in here. Um, and uh, I don't have every, every rare or mythic but I have almost a play set of all of them and everything fits just fine. Let's say for instance, you needed uh, more than 800 cards, which I doubt, but if you did, you could always allocate uh, a second row or you could even use a thousand card box, which might stick out a little bit further depending on your space that you use to store your collection. Uh, but these are great. Uh, they're super functional. They keep all of your cards in one spot. You have quick and easy access to your inventory. So let's say this wasn't your collection, but maybe some of the cards that you had um, that you're trying to trade away, right? So you run TCG player or a card to your account and a customer needs, let's say a guy is blessing, right? So for me, I know it's white, blue, black, red, green, and we'll go uncommons. So we'll pull out that little section. Boom, we'll grab a guy's blessing. That took me maybe, what, four or five seconds. Instead of going through the stacks or random deck builder toolbox kits or binders that you have lying everywhere. Um, another tip that I use, it's worked really well for me, is I keep a a box similar to this, it is what exactly it says. It's a box of staples. So let's say, you know, I wind up using a card a lot. Here, perfect example. Uh, Ragavan's in like a ton of modern decks. So what I'll do is I'll keep him in here instead of throwing him in uh, the appropriate set box. But I also use the same sleeves for all my decks. So I believe this is a Dragon Shield... I think it's Slate. I don't, I don't know the exact name, but I use it for every deck. So this way, if I have a card like this, it's already sleeved up. It's got a double sleeve Dragon Shield on there. I could take it for my red-black uh, mid-range and throw it in, uh, you know, my Grixis Death Shadow, for example, really quickly without any issues. And uh, I just have this sorted by format. So I have Modern, Pioneer, Standard, the the uh, formats I play the most of. So I just keep a lot of the staples in there for easier access. And then I use a similar box, similar method for my card sphere uh, incoming packages, right? So if you see my other videos, I open a lot of cards and you're probably like, why the hell is this guy collecting all of these commons and uncommons? That's just what I do. That's what I keep this collection. Uh, four. So for example, um, you know, I'll, I'll keep collecting and accumulating and I'll keep throwing them in the, in the same uh, bin. 
And what I'll do is I'll use something like this. I forget what these are called, but I'll throw the link in the description. It allows you to sort magic cards a lot easier. So I'll take cards that are all from the same set. We'll sort them through. So you got Strixhaven, D&D, uh, Kaldheim. And, you know, then I'll pull out the box when I have all my Kaldheim cards, put them in the appropriate slot, and move from there. Instead of, you know, getting a package from TCG Player or a Card Sphere, and let's say it was only three cards. I got like a Dominaria card, an Ixalan card, and a Dragon's Maids card. I got to pull out each box. It, it would take too long. What you want to do is have something more accessible like this, pile them all in, and then when you have, let's say, 20, 30 minutes aside, you can take this box, take your card sorter, and you know go through it much more efficiently, in my opinion. So I think these are actually a pretty good investment too. Um, definitely worth the maybe 15 or 20 bucks that I paid for it. Um, as far as keeping your decks in order and organized. I don't typically keep more than like two or three deck boxes similar to this, just because I just don't like having decks that I either don't use or, you know, maybe I need the cards in another deck. So I usually only keep two or three handy for each of the formats I play, throw it in a, throw it in my bag for Friday Night Magic with a play mat and a trade binder, call it a day. Um, you know, but if you're the type of person where you got like eight or 12, 15 of these like boulders, um, I'm just going to direct you to the professor at Tolarian and, you know, use his method with the Stanley toolbox. Keep all your deck boxes all in one, one, one little case and uh, go from there. That's just not my style. I don't play commander. Uh, I don't play a lot of formats. I'll typically focus on one format and keep two or three decks handy and that that's it for me. So, you know, as far as storing your decks, that's, that's your better bet is listening to the professor. Um, the only thing I wouldn't recommend putting in something like this are maybe your more expensive cards. Maybe you have some, you know, ABU or four horsemen cards. You could throw them in here, but you know, you'd probably want to throw some penny sleeves or maybe, uh, regular sleeves on them first. Also foils, right? So our Pringles don't hold well in the environment based on whatever your humidity is, right? So for me, this is the only thing I use binders for or foils. You know, I throw them in a per perfect fit sleeve or maybe just a regular sleeve and throw them in the binder. I like the ones without the rings and um, you know, like this one because it's got a four playset. Uh, I'll throw the link uh, in the description below for this binder, but I like this one a lot. It's called a Z Folio. Uh, really nice binder. I don't use binders for anything else other than mostly foils. Um, I think they're really good for keeping them flat and away from the exposure to the humidity. But this is the Shortcut to a organized collection, so this way your significant other or roommates don't get mad that you have piles of magic cards everywhere. So hopefully you can take away something from my method, and if you know you have a better method or you have some tips for me, throw it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.